Hello and uh, welcome. About a year ago, two GC units were donated to me, and until recently, they remain in my garage. Organic chemistry is not my forte, but I decided to see what I could get out of them. So a few weeks ago, I finally set them up for some uh, analytical work. The variant unit seems to have some very serious issues beyond my ability to repair, but the HP seems to be operational. Although it was missing its detector, which contained a radioactive source that was removed before donation, I had to come up with an alternative for detection. And so eBay is my uh, go-to source for scientific equipment, and I found this uh, $40 UVV's detector that just needed cleaning. It measures absorbance selectively from 190 nanometers to 700 nanometers. Its recorder output makes it easy to attach the uh, digital interface to communicate with the computer software. So easy. This is an N2000 chromatostation. For about 100 bucks, you'll get the interface, the software, which allow for data acquisition, calibration, customizable analytical report, and more. And all the cable necessary for data acquisition and processing. I've got two of them and my next project will make use of this second one. In order to get valid quantitative analysis, I've ordered three standards of one milliliters each for volatiles analytes from chem service. Now I barely understand the fear behind chemicals and radiological substances, but three milliliters of almost anything can probably be ingested without much ill effect, especially low concentration solvent. But the customer service of this company is worse than, well, let's just say my experience wasn't great. And with no accountability these days, it's impossible to get anything. Anyway, I had two choices, either solve this problem or make my own standard. But making my own means any unidentified peaks, I won't be able to quantify or even qualify them. I am using HPLC Purity Ultraviolet Grade Methanol as a solvent, which, uh, by the way, a whole gallon was delivered without issue. Each analyte I want to qualify and quantify is prepared using these high quality specific syringes for precise volume delivery from 500 down to 1 microliters. The final standard is then stored in these amber glasses vial so they can be easily drawn and injected into the GC. Finally, I use helium as the carrier gas. So I am, uh, I am still figuring out the correct pressure and flow for the carrier gas, the temperature of the oven, the wavelength and the gain for the detector to achieve optimum results and detection limit. Now I have a few ideas about uh, what to analyze, but if you have any, feel free to drop me a line in the comment. Also, if uh, I made any mistakes and if you're more familiar with uh, GC, then I'll, uh, I'll be glad to read your suggestions as well. So thumbs up if you like this project. Stay tuned for the next chapter. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Subscribe if you want, and I will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.